That's his pink little princess. Here it is, look, the most high. <laughs> They animals to be animals, man. Yeah, they, they putting sweaters on animals and goddamn socks. Socks. On animals. Little Santa Claus hats. <laughs> the most high made the animals to be out here to do shit. He don't need no fucking socks on. I got one cut over just like that, two of them, for real. What's that? What's that? Oh, okay. All right. The garment. <laughs> oh, you talking about his garment. Right, right. That, that used to be the style. I remember there was a style back in like the 80s or 90s or something. When Poncho. You about to get cut off too. Oh, shit. Get your own. Because I need my one. Oh, that, that is a nice one, though. <laughs> you about to get cut off. <laughs> you know, that's my boy right now. Uh, what was we at, man? Oh, first, second trip. Man. Whom we have not preached, or if we, if ye receive another spirit which. You have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. It said, if you receive another spirit. So what's that spirit that's in the church and that spirit of love, the spirit of follow your heart, no the spirit prophecy. of you don't, yeah, what's that? No prophecy. Yeah, no prophecy. That's, that's the main thing. Because the spirit of how shy is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. Yep. The testimony of how shy is the spirit of prophecy. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the main thing. Because the uh, testimony. Yeah. <laughs> Paul said Paul said himself, uh covet to uh, prophesy. We you especially know? be testifying in the wintertime, boy. That's right. You know? So they, that's that's uh, you know, Israel promises, all that all that is all prophecy. That's right. That's right. Everything's prophecy. That's right. But I gotta right. preach it. Oh, you got I said I little bit more. Uh, for I suppose I was not a wit behind the very chiefest apostles, but though I be rude in speech. Who rude in speech? Yet not in knowledge. But we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. Yes. Yeah, so Paul was rude in speech. Like people, like people be, they, they get all bugged out. Like if we say a cuss word while we're out here teaching, they get all bugged out and emotional. Hey, y'all cussing while you reading the Bible. But Paul said he was rude in speech. And we just read the scripture where it also said Paul was, uh, his speech was contemptible. And they, they say the same thing about us. Oh, bro, you're talking too loud, man. I, 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 oh, I I'm sorry. Shit, Let me lower my voice. You're talking too loud, man. For real, man. I'm doing another talking too loud. Just can't too loud. Man. How many times oh, we you heard? You sent him the picture of the thing he sent me. What was it? The thing, the uh, mic thing. Oh, I forgot that. I got my <laughs> icicles in my mustache. <laughs> what you call them things? Ah, shit. What you call them? Uh, a megaphone. A megaphone. Oh, God. <laughs> my mom bought it for me. Yeah. Oh, an actual girl. megaphone. I actually told her I, I needed a megaphone to cuss out people while I was driving. <laughs> like, you know, because you beat a red light, like, hey, motherfucker, you can turn on red. You can make right turns on red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a funny shit, though. That's a funny But, yeah, thing. I can bring it out here sometime. But you don't really need a megaphone out here. That'd be kind of ridiculous, but I could do it. Maybe it's... It could, I can see it coming in handy when someone trying to be out loud and won't let you talk and then you just take over like, oh, shut it down. It's time to shut it down. Uh, your, your boy Perazin didn't be out here with microphones. Because you know in Columbus, the law, uh, you, you're allowed to have mics and megaphones. In some cities and states, you ain't allowed to do that. But they, uh, I think they passed that law. You go, that's like five years ago. You, you can do it. You can be out here with microphones, megaphones. You don't have to have a permit. Some places you gotta have a permit. Oh, that's right. Cause I was actually saw the video before I was arguing with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing he got right. One thing for us to top me. Wonder why he knows that law so good. Oh, the light came in. Oh. <laughs> IUI, uh, not IUI, no IUIC be doing that. Uh, what's all the, uh, the IU, I can't say it. I, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, the PKers with the demolition and road warriors. They be out there with, they, got, they go out there with a stage, a banner. Actual stage, yeah. A fucking stage, you gotta get permits to do all that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't need no permit. We just come out here, put a garment on, turn on a camera and just get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they, that's theatrics. You got a stage. That, that's like you putting on a show or something, you know? Uh, that's not going to show the park, man. 
Oh, uh, they got that stage up there. You know what happened the last time we went to Todd and Schiller Park? <laughs> that was the last time. It was. <laughs> Me, oh, me and him did a sit down, but that one day I got arrested. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fire video. It was. That same cop that want to take you to jail, he ended up catching up with me uh, like years later. Really? He said, oh, you that motherfucker from uh, Schiller Park. That's what he said. Because I told him he was going to be destroyed. He's like, who's going to destroy him? I'm like, the most high. He's like, oh, you that motherfucker from Damn. Schiller Park. So he most, couldn't wait. <laughs> the most high got him twice. <laughs> yeah. Most high could wait to catch one of us. <laughs> More. And not by us, man. We ain't gonna be in fish and going after them. The spirit of your how about shooting out shotgun after these cops. Yeah. Along with two thirds, man. Shit. My hands is broke. I think my hands is so broke. Y'all see, uh. Yeah, he's bad. Oh, they're right here, toes. Is it bad on work? Huh? That's not this thing ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, because people getting fed up with the cops, man. It's, a, it's probably about 10% work. Damn. What is it? You got a heat pad? Oh, that shit don't work. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's working a little bit. Man. The only thing that works is the armpits of the nuts. <laughs> That's it. That's the only thing. It is the only thing. That's all I'm doing. That's why I said in the wintertime, I'd be testifying. <laughs> the thing, yeah. Literally. That's all it, yeah. In the wintertime, because it has its ups and it has its downs. Summertime, you know, be out here crazy. Wintertime, ain't nobody scoffing for real. Yeah, and they, no, it's too cold to scoff. <laughs> oh, we, we go back down to OSU, they gonna be scoffing. Oh, they, down here. oh, they be out there without with, with a T-shirt on scoffing, <laughs> drunk <laughs> as hell, talking it's about y'all. Campus crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Campus is actually crazy. We gonna have to go back out there sometime. Yeah, a couple times, yeah, yeah. I don't care, man. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, boy, they're gone already. <laughs> oh, That's because it's this spot, though. No, really, like. We just need to get away from that wind area. It's like downtown is that's, that's brutal. Campus, that's only thing yeah. That's campus. We white right, we white right by the river right now. Oh, it's oh, probably just as man. They got a uh, be, out, be out here like the NFL with one of them uh them, them heaters. Little, uh, man heaters. Man. <laughs> or right there by the hotel. You already had that fire. What fire? They had a big ass fire dude was at the ballet hat. Where, like a, uh, where's that at? Right there where that hotel is. How long ago was that? Uh shit, this was like what two weeks when the ballet dude had the little fire thing right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we need one of those. Yeah. Yeah. It's a kerosene to come out here with one. That'd be out here like this. I ain't trying to give these niggas heat, man. Oh, yeah. King of Mattress starts me up here, too. <laughs> you know your niggas tripping. <laughs> hey, and what's that one scripture? Uh, <laughs> you know that scripture that says the word, I think it's Psalms 147, Psalms 147, when it says he melted them with that, with that fire oh, or something. Uh, his words. Uh, it rhymes, too, yeah. don't it? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It, Hey, cause that's true though, man. Cause you know the word is fire. I was thinking about that today. Though you know how you, somebody here like a uh, a dope ass. You know how somebody here a really good a song they like. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I know which one it is. It's one forty seven, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's right, Jeremiah. No, I know that one. Nah, he talking about. Uh, Song's one forty seven, I think. Yeah. Oh shit! I can't believe that. But I was just thinking though earlier today, cause you know how Jake, they hear that new track from uh, who's their favorite rapper, Lou Uzi Bird or something, yeah. and they be like, "Ooh, that was fire." But the Lord Ben said that the Lord, the, the that was in the Bible first, calling something fire. Cause the Lord said His word is like fire. That's why when you hear that good scripture, you be like, "Ooh, yeah, that's fire." That's that fire scripture. That's and that's proof tell you who the Israelites are. We refer to things as fire. You don't hear Esau. Calling his favorite song "Fire," right. saying that's fire. You know what I mean? That's just more proof right there who the real Israelites are. Oh, uh, this is what you talking about? Uh, I know. I saw him on forty-seven. Forty-seven, eh? verse eighteen. He sent out his word and melted them. He caused the wind to blow and the waters to flow. Yeah, that's it. Because I know it rhymes. Read that again. It's so smooth. He sent out his word and melted them. So the Lord sent out his word and melted them. You know what I mean? Because his word is fire. And you know, like at least say like an NBA jam. We be out here, yeah. they be like, he's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it causes wind to blow. 
and the water's the flow. <laughs> he might as well keep going. Uh, that's how we broke up them spirits, man. Them spirits got them the minds and the leaves to shoot them nukes, man. You know? Yeah. That's the only way all this shit is happening is because of us, man. Shit. That, that's a good scripture. He showed his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgment to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. But I thought the Lord loved everybody. He chose everybody. That's what that means. And look, according to the scriptures, the scriptures teach uh, predestination. Everything was predestined. You can read the, uh, what, Ephesians. What is that? Ephesians, the first chapter? Yeah. Or is it the second chapter? First chapter, ain't it? Where it says we was uh, chosen before the earth was even formed. So there's no new thing under the sun. If, if Israel was the chosen people 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, they still the chosen people today. That's right. You know what I mean? There's no, no nothing changed. The Most High is not a liar. He don't change. I mean, if, if, if what the, if what the uh, Christians say is true, that means that the Most High is a fucking, uh, what's it call it? You got two different personalities. Schizo. He's a crazy ass person. You gotta rip that page out in the Book of Psalms. King David know King David know what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah. Got yeah. ripped out the Bible. I yeah, how was I? What's going yeah. on when he said he only came for the lost sheep? <laughs> I mean, goddamn, what else you? Yeah, the old man was sick that day. He yeah, I mean, what the fuck? He said Jacob, I love, but Esau, I hate it. So I mean, the scriptures are clear. I mean, there's no like like Peter said. There's no private interpretation. Let me get this up. There ain't no private interpretation. And then yeah, Revelation, he said he gonna sit on the uh the twelve what twelve twelve, 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 twelve the thrones the twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes. And, yeah. and the New Jerusalem is gonna have twelve gates, and on each gate the twelve tribes of Israel gonna be written. The name of the tribes is gonna be written. Right. It didn't say, didn't mention nothing about no other nation. So we know what we talking about. Everybody else is full of shit, and we can proudly say that. We can boast in that. I mean, it's not even, it's not like nothing complicated. It's not like some shit we, you know, you got to twist and bend scriptures. I take it. The scriptures are clear. They plain. When the Lord said he came to save the lost sheep at the house of Israel, that don't take no interpretation. <laughs> it, it, a scholar to break that shit. Down. A scholar to break it. Oh, but that really, mean, no, it don't really mean, no, it means what it says. Over there trying to twist scriptures. You know what I mean? Numbers 23 and 19. It says, God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Have he, have he said, it's like, have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall not he make it good? Yeah, the Most High don't lie. So if he said he came to save Israel, uh -oh. I'm pretty sure that's what he meant. He didn't mean nothing. He meant. Oh, that really means he came to save Esau. Uh, uh, remember, remember King David? Ain't, ain't King David uh, the Lord's, uh, ain't after, uh, after his Lord's heart? Yo, yeah, that's in the book of Acts. Let's see what he the said. The book of Acts said David was a man after the Most High's own heart. Woo! That's his promise real quick. Then, so David was like the Lord, besides Yahweh Shai, he, he, he was the Lord, the Most High's favorite. Shit. A killing machine was the Most High's favorite. A killing machine, right. <laughs> Get it, God damn, ain't this down. Right, that King David put God of War to shame. You play that video game God of War? Oh yeah. He, you know how we get our Dynasty Warriors. He put all them to shame. What's the badass game? It still ain't got a King David video game. Right. That would be the best video game ever. They fuck it up some way. Hey, they will fuck it. White. British accent. Yeah, British. Like what the? I mean, cause you. There's so much good. We you talking about some good source material. The Bible's the most yeah, got, uh, uh, pure brute. What a lot of it is pure brutality. You it's, know what I mean? Yeah. It's a manly book. It's a manly book, right? This ain't no grandma book. Right. The Bible ain't for no grandma. You know what I mean? This is a man's book. Right. Your grandma taught you. Is that what you say? Or your grandma taught you wrong? I mean, she can learn a couple of scriptures and stuff. You know, she needed. She need to follow the commandments and stuff, but. This is a manly book, you know what I mean? It was written by men. Show me one book in the Bible that was written by a woman. It don't exist. <laughs> oh, they took it out. They by what by Ruth? Man, the Ruth was not written by Ruth. You know what I mean? Judith was not written by Judith. You know what I mean? Crazy. They love put the woman up. What about Deborah? What about Jezebel? 
<laughs> it is more Jezebels than there are Debras, you know what I mean? There's hey. more there, there's more Athaliahs than there are Judas. Hey. Oh, no, 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 check this out. I woke up this morning on the comment board. I was checking my comments. I, I made a reincarnation video. It's an old video. But this uh, girl came up there, this woman, and she, told, she she gave me a thumbs up, said she liked the video or whatever, and she told me that she was Mary Magdalene in the reincarnation. <laughs> she, oh, yeah, another gummy. Oh, shit. Oh, may, oh yeah, maybe I should get her number, huh? It's like that. <laughs> she told me she was Mary Magdalene in the reincarnation. Wow, that's so that's crazy. Cause don't nobody even know who they are in the reincarnation. The, the Lord had taken that from all of us. Even John the Baptist didn't know that he was Elijah. You know what I mean? That goes to show you what, uh, what's the last page of the, uh, the Old Testament. It's, uh, Malachi, right? And what was the last page? He said he uh, said to go turn the, uh, the father list to back to the father. Yep. Come on, the twelve tribes of Israel. So yep. that's the only reason why Yahweh Shai even came. Yeah. 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 You know, they'll say he was an Old Testament only. But the Elder Tahara put up a video of, of Abba when he was reading out the Book of Romans. I'm just throwing that out there for case people, because people always come on the comment boards trying to say he didn't believe in the New Testament, which is bullshit. Did you ever watch some videos? That brother had a, a fiery spirit on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. It's real hard to hear because it's old, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you got really, you know what I mean? But you got the breather and everything. Yeah. Oh, this is a picture. Yeah. This is a picture of, uh, I think it was like an icon of uh, King David. You know, of course, he so called black. They had a picture ah. of uh, King Masha. He had the same, he looked exactly the fucking same. Wow. Bro. He had the same hat looking and everything. Right, like, right. Whew. That proves reincarnation right there, too. I mean, you can see that sometimes too in like your family members. You hear people all the time. They be like, "Ooh, man, you look just like your grandpa. You act just like him." Yeah. You know what I mean? You could, you never met him before he died, before he was born, or whatever. You see that all the time. You come back in a reincarnation, you know. That's how you come back. People so dumb. They tell you reincarnation ain't in the Bible, and Yahweh Shah talked about it all the time. Cause when you look, it makes sense though. When you look at it, you know even plants are reincarnated. What happens every year, in the, and we in the winter, if say you got a garden, every year your plants wither and die, but they come back. Coming back. They coming back, and they the same plants. Taste the same as they did last year. Hopefully, if you take care of them right. You know what I mean? If you dress them right, right, cultivate them. But what happens? But but how do the plants come back though? They plant their seed in the earth. And when they drop that seed, then that then even plants come back in the reincarnation. Just like when we plant our seed, we we because the Lord works through seeds, and that's why He's called called the Heavenly Father, because He's a he, the Lord, God is a man, not a woman. Because everything everything on this earth comes from a seed. You know what I mean? And the only way we keep coming back is by planting our seeds. Matthew 19 and 28. And you how I said unto them, verily I say unto like you, cold. that ye which have followed me in the regeneration of the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory. Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh, go ahead, you got it. You got it. <laughs> there it is, right there. That's out the that's out the uh, book of Revelation. Book man. of Matthew. Oh, that's Matthew. Nineteen. Yeah, he said in the regeneration. Now, when you even go into that word regeneration, what does the word gene mean? That means, like the book of Genesis means the beginning. So the re to regenerate means to come, to grow back. You know what I mean? To start over again. Mr. and Mrs. Canine. <laughs> he said, I'm the God of the living, not the dead oh, anyway. Yup, so. God of the living, not the dead. It just, what's that in uh, Proverbs? Uh, it was not Proverbs, but. Uh, God of the living? Matthew 22. 
Yeah. It says, ye also shall sit upon the 12 hey. throne, judging the 12 tribes. Hey, let's get that Matthew 22. Yeah, cause yeah, cause uh, that goes into some of the mysteries behind the seed, the man planting the seed and coming back and all that. You know, when it goes into that and the scribes and Pharisees question him if a man dies and his brother takes his wife and doesn't have a child and all that, and he asks him what happens to him. Whew! I can't believe that dude's walking around in shorts. He walk, but he, he, walk, but ain't white, he walking in the cold. He just out here. He got like, his sleeves rolled up. Yeah, like he hot. What the fuck? I wonder where he from. <laughs> this ain't shit to him. He from Norway or something. He, he from, from the, the North, the North Pole. Pole. <laughs> <laughs> he from the North Pole. This ain't shit to him. This motherfucker got half penguin. <laughs> You said 22, Matthew 22. Yeah, 22. It's like towards the end or so. I don't, I'm not sure it's a long chapter though. Uh, it, it goes when the scribes and Pharisees is, is talking shit to him, questioning him about if a man doesn't. Okay. Whew. It's a little wintry out here. Okay, Matthew's 22. 25 now there were with us seven brethren and the first when he had married a wife deceased and having no issue left his wife unto his brother likewise the second also right, right. i will explain that real quick because in the old testament there's a law that states uh if a man is married to a woman but he dies and doesn't have a child he didn't get her pregnant the law commands you can't you ain't got a choice in this matter either the law commands that that man's brother has sex with her and takes her as his wife and plants his seed in it. And and that child is not the brother's child. It's, it's the man who dies child. That's a mystery. We can't understand that, but. Right. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seventh? Right. So the, so the scribes and Pharisees are being assholes saying, well, what happens if, uh, you know, the husband dies, his brother tries, he, the brother dies before he can get her pregnant too, and then, you know, so on and so forth. And he wasn't able, the man was not able to plant his seed. So they're saying, what happens if a man is not able to plant his seed in the woman? Go ahead. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven, for they all have her? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor <laughs> the power of the most high. That's all these people. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High in heaven. And that cuts the virgin birth too, that the angels pop marry. Yup, now angels ain't giving them. Angels don't have sex. Right. So, so.